Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and I mean every last one of us should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good, and he is so worthy, my brothers and sisters. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He is so worthy to be praised. Every day is a day to always pour your heart out to Jesus, to always trust in him, and to always rejoice in his holy name. And I know what it looked like that God has forgotten about you. It might even seem like God is overlooking you, but you got to know for sure that God has your back to the very end, that God is too faithful, my brothers and sisters, that he would not fail you. He is too faithful that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He is too faithful that he got your back all the way to the very end, my brothers and sisters. Are you following what I'm saying? Jesus have your back all the way to the very end. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing because the God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us and he hems in the palm of his hands and he is working everything God to his prayer for will. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home, to your life, or even your prayer closet room, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. His arms are open wide. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just come before you today on this awesome day, this amazing day, the day that you have made, oh Heavenly Father God. We're so glad to be a part of it and always rejoice in it. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, because you make all things new each and every day. We thank you, Father God, because we know that you, we know for a fact, Father God, that you are working behind the scenes. And, Father God, that you always make yourself available, Father God. And there's nothing too hard and there's nothing too difficult for you right now. I pray right now today, Father God, that my brother and sisters right now today is crying their heart to you right now, Father God. And, God, that you have listened, that you have heard every last one of my brothers and sisters' prayers right now. And, Father God, we know for a fact, God, that you will make a way out of nowhere. Oh, Father God, we know, Father God, that you will come through. Oh, Father God, we know, Father God, that we can put our faith and our trust and our hope into your hands, Father God. That, God, we know for a fact, God, that we know that you have our back. That you have us covered, Father God, because you are a healer, you are a protector, and you will always be our provider. You are everything, Jesus. You are King of kings, and you are Lord of lords. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy, Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for the love that you continue to give us. We thank you, Father God, for how patient you are with us, God. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we better about to receive this powerful message right now. That's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no other place, oh, Heavenly Father God, that we're ready to be at right now today, Jesus. But right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, give me your thanks, give me your praise, give me your glory. We magnify, we glorify, we exalt your holy name right now today, Father God. Because, Father God, you the one that's still in control and you're still in charge. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you continue to have your way with my brothers and my sisters, even myself today. Oh, Father God, you continue to lift our spirits up right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you the one that can put the smile on my brother and sister's face right now today. And, Father God, I know that's a smile right now today that's on my brother and sister's face right now. Oh, Father God, we thank you, Father God, for how awesome, how amazing you are. Oh, Father God, let your will be done today. Father God, let your words go out and should not return back born today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. Did I know for a fact that you're about to show up? Did I know for a fact that you're about to show out? I believe and I declare, decree right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. 
that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to get their life over to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now. And you will and you shall get all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your house. Thy house that you built on solid ground. Thy house that you built on solid foundation. Thy house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, all but Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary. Right here on your YouTube channel. Right here on your platform. Right here in my brother's home. Right here in my brother's life. Right here in my sister's home. Right here in my sister's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to do a new thing in my brother's sister's life right now. I'm asking, Father God, to speak a word to my brothers and sisters right now. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to lift their spirits up right now today and let them know, Father God, that they can rest in your words, that they can rest in your promises, Father God. Thank God that you got everything worked out, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, heaven, Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, for you to continue to anoint their head right now. Allow their cups continue to overflow right now today, Father God. Allow their lamps continue to burn right now today, Father God. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you for a favor. And the favor that I'm asking for, Jesus, for a blessing for my brothers and sisters. A breakthrough for my brothers and sisters. A miracle for my brothers and sisters. That you will open up a door for my brothers and sisters. That you will put them at the right place at the right time for my brothers and sisters. That you will send rain in the drought of their season right now. That you will send a harvest, Father God. Right now today for my brothers and sisters. That you will send them the help they need right now today, Father God. And your word said that we can ask anything in your name. And it will be given to us. So, Father God, we declare right now today that it's already done. Glory be to God. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform. Right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you're a comforter. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our mind, so we hear your soft, still voice. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never moved before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire. Holy Spirit, please forgive us for grieving you today. As we repent of our sins today, Father God, please forgive us for our sins today, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, God, for the opportunity. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am. To always pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters, that one body in Christ. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom. But most of all, Jesus, I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and fruit of my lips about you. And I've got to tell you, I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart at you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I want more, I want more, I want more of you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Amen, amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Today's word is running with the devil. And to some of y'all right now today, you know exactly who you are. You're running with someone that is leading you down a dead end. You're running with someone that's leading you to destruction. You're running with someone who's not keeping it real with you, who's not telling you the truth. You're running with someone who really don't have your back. That is not your running part of my sisters. That is not your running part of my brothers. He is telling some of y'all right now today, it's okay for y'all to still lie, still kill, and destroy. He is telling some of y'all right now today, it's okay for y'all continue to be an adulterous man 
and the adulterous wife. It's okay for y'all to do this and do that. He's telling some of y'all to even question God's authority just like he did Eve in the beginning. And you think he's your running partner. You think that he got your back. You think that he's loyal. He even showed some of y'all some things. He said, this is y'all if you rock with me, if you follow me. And a lot of y'all right now today, you know exactly who you are. You took the bait. But you don't realize he's a liar. He's a trickster. That's what he's been doing since day one. And it's easy to infiltrate some of y'all if you're not in the word wholeheartedly. It's easy for him to come down and convince y'all. It's easy for him to come and portray to be something that he's really not. Because you're not in the word. So when he come down and betrays something that he's not, you're already blinded by something that is not even real. Some of y'all biggest artists that y'all listen to, you even follow. Look at your boy Chris Brown. He even wrote a song about him. How the devil gave him this, how the devil gave him that. Made a hit song about it, made a hit record. Some of y'all, you're dancing off of it, but you don't realize he's gonna have to come, he gonna have to come collect from Chris Brown at some point. He ain't the only artist. He's telling some of you it's okay to get high. It's okay to drink. It's okay to have fornication. It's okay to masturbate. It's okay to sleep with him and her and God ain't gonna get mad about you. And you going doing the same thing he told you to do. He's not your running partner. You think that he is. He's leading you to destruction. Somebody got to wake up because you don't realize you're going down this rabbit hole and you don't know how you're going to come out. You're going down this valley, but there ain't going to be no light down now. It's only darkness, pain, and suffering and hurting down now until some of y'all wake up. He got some of y'all making believing that he got your back, that he's your friend. And I'm going to tell you something, my brothers and sisters. He had me like that about 20 some odd years ago. When I was out there young, out there on the street corner, when I was out there smoking blunts, I thought he was getting high with me, but he was not getting high with me. I thought he was drinking the 40 ounces with me, but he was not drinking the 40 ounces with me. I thought he was in the club with me, but he was not standing in the club with me. He was pretending to be something else. He even gave me a package for me to go sell on the block. I didn't care who it was as long as I was making the money and doing what he wanted me to do. It was all good. I did everything what he asked of me. To one day, the Lord called me and he says, my son, what are you doing? And I said, God, what are you talking about? He said, son, you're doing all the things wrong. You're doing everything what the devil wanted you to do. He is not your partner. He is not your friend. He don't got your back. He is taking you somewhere that there's no point of return. And when God called me, I said, really? So the Lord showed me two paths. He showed me the path of destruction, which I was already on because I thought this person who was kicking it with me, who was talking to me, I thought he was my partner. I thought he was my homeboy. I thought he was my ride or die. But he was nothing but a liar. He was nothing but a conceiver and a deceiver. But God showed me his path. And that what woke me up right there. God saved me from a pain of going through hell. A pain of suffering. A pain of misery. And I pray today that this word is going to help somebody right now. That God is going to open somebody's eyes. Because what the enemy is doing, he is leading you to destruction. He is taking you somewhere that he's going to let you off. And you're going to call out his name and he's going to be nowhere to be found. He is telling that he can offer you this and offer you that. How can he offer you something but nothing don't even belong to him? He don't own no real estate. But he come in betraying to be something else. And that's how he's able to bombard some of y'all. And how he got me because I was not in the word. I was in the world, but I was in the word.
See, anybody can be in the world. See, when you're in the world, it's easy for him to masquerade and come to be something else and you're going to fall for because what? It looked good. It sounded good. He, he was buzzing all in your ear because it was a time he was buzzing in my ear. He showed me things that looked good and I went for it. Even out of that husband. He says, it's okay to sleep with that woman right there. They go to the next woman. They go to the next woman. And I thought it was okay to do it. I was running with the wrong partner. He was never my friend. He was never my homeboy. He was leading me somewhere that is going to mess me up. And to my God, call my name. And he came on a rescue to come help me. And Chris Brown ain't the owner. Chris Brown not the only uh, person that made a hit song about the devil. Even Jay-Z made a song about him called Lucifer. Now, didn't he? Look at the other artists. They making songs about him. They praise him. They worship him because they think he look good and they think they, that's their partner. And they running with him. Not knowing he ain't taking you nowhere but destruction. He ain't taking nowhere but hell and back. He not taking to the light. He's going to take you somewhere, and he's going to want to collect at the end. See, that's why some of these people don't realize when he offers you this stuff, it look good, it sounds good. But at the end of the day, he will come back and say, you know you owe me, right? I'm coming to collect, and we don't have anything to offer him to give him. You are in trouble. And I know today that this word is going to help somebody. This word is going to save somebody. This word right here is going to open up somebody's eyes and say, you know what? I'm running with the wrong partner. Some of y'all even left y'all spouses because the enemy told you it's better off when you leave your husband, your wife, to go chase somebody else. And that's what you've been doing, chasing the wrong thing, but the wind has not even caught up with you. you chasing things, but ain't nobody chasing you just like gone. And you realize you're going through all these heartbreaks. Now that's called punishment, what you're going through. That's not a heartbreak. That's called punishment because you're being disobedient towards God because the devil told you God no good from evil. Did he really say that? So he whispering you in to question you about God's authority. And you fell for it. But he came in pretending to be something. Look how many angels that he took out of heaven. They listened to the wrong voice. Now look at me, them angels, those fallen angels, was running with the wrong partner. They was running with the wrong person. And they became fallen angels. Are you following what I'm saying right now? Don't become that fallen angel, my sisters. Don't become that fallen angel, my brothers. Because I was at a point, I was going to become that fallen angel until my God called me. And he had to open my eyes and let me see what I was doing. And when he showed me that path of destruction, I couldn't see it because I was blinded by the light. Because my partner, who I thought was my partner, was telling me something different. I seen the blood in his hand, but he was not smoking I seen the 40 ounces in his, in his hand, but he was not drinking it. I seen the dope in his hand, but he was not serving it like me. I seen the pistol in his hand, but he was not shooting it like I was. He wasn't doing it. He was pretending to do it, but I was the one that was out there doing it. But he wasn't. We've been dapped each other up. But the whole time he was smiling behind my back. Knowing said, I got this fool right here. Until my God told me. He was playing me. He was setting me up for my downfall. And God is going to save somebody today through this word. He's going to open somebody's eyes up through this word right now. Because he is telling you right now. He's letting you know that is not your running partner. Who you think that you're running with. He don't care nothing about you. There's no love there. 
He is telling you all the wrong things. He's deceiving you. He is tricking you. But you got to wake up today, my sisters. You got to wake up today, my brothers. Because you've been blinded. Blinded light. There's no truth in him at all. And God trying to tell you something today. That is not your running partner. If you don't wake up right now. If you don't get your life together right now. You are headed for self-destruction. And you don't want to head that way, my sisters. You don't want to head that way, my brothers. You got to wake up. Amen? Amen. Let's turn our Bible to 2 Corinthians chapter 11. And we're going to read verses 14 and 15. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 11. And we're going to read verses 14 and 15. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Glory be to God. And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It is not surprising then if his servants masquerade as a servant of righteousness, their end will be what their actions deserve. Their end will be what their actions deserve if you don't wake up. Their end will be what they actually deserve if you don't ask the Lord for help right now today. Their end will be what they actually deserve. You don't ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes right now. Their end will be what they actually deserve. You don't ask the Lord to open up your eyes. To remove everything and anything that is not of him. Remove it from you right now. Because he comes as an angel of light. That's how he's able to trick you. That's how he's able to bombard you because he come in as an angel of light. But that's not the real light. There's a lot of darkness in him. See, he camouflaged my sisters and brothers. That's what you got to ask the Holy Spirit. Is this an angel sent from God? Because anytime an angel will tell you to do things that is not of God, automatically you should know that's not your running partner. But when he come in as an angel and an angel of light, because you got to remember now he was the most beautiful angel. So when he come, he come in with beauty. He show you that it looks so good, it's so pleasing to the eye, so desirable for your for your for your, for your for your flesh, and you think it's the right thing to do, but you don't realize he set you up. For your downfall. He has set you up for the okay dope. He has set you up for you to destroy and lose everything. See, the enemy like to steal, kill, and destroy. That way he roar around just to see what he can devour. That way he go he roam back and forth just to see what he can do and how he can attack that person right now. So when he comes, he coming as an angel. Because you see the angel, you see this light, you say, oh man, that's got to be beauty right there. I know it's got to be sent from God. See, you got to remember, the devil, he's going to give you things straight up the back. No hesitation, not at all. God is going to make you wait for that blessing. God is going to make you wait for that breakthrough. God is going to make you wait for that miracle. Because when the time is right, because the word of God said when the time is right, that he will make, he will make all things happen. But see, when the enemy comes, he's going to give it to you straight up the back. Why do you think Chris Brown made that his song about him? He said, if I do this right, I'm going to give you this. And Chris Brown fell for it. It's like Usher fell for it. It's like Jay-Z fell for it. And the other artists out there, they fell for it. Because they looked it good. It was too sweet of a deal. They said, I can't pass this up. But they don't realize the word of God said, their end will be what their actions deserve. Because they still running with the wrong running partner. They still believing the wrong partner. They still trusting the wrong partner. They still hanging around the wrong partner. And God is telling you to wake up. That is not your running partner, my brothers and sisters. That is not your running partner, my sons and my daughters. That is the wrong angel. I didn't send that angel to you. That angel came in disguise to mess with you. To trick you and pretend like I sent that angel. Look how fast that angel gave you this. I would have never gave you nothing that quick. I would have never gave you nothing that fast. Look how fast you got it. 
But you don't realize you only have it for a short period of time because when the time is up, because your time is going to come up, he's going to want to collect. If you don't have anything to offer him to give him, you in trouble. But my God came to save, serve, save me before my time was up. So that's why I thank him the way I do. That's why I praise him the way I do. That's why I glorify him the way I do because I did everything who I thought my partner told me. And the Lord had to show me the movie strip the whole time I was out there in the world. I'm thinking we getting high together. I was, I was wanting to get high. He wasn't getting high. I'm thinking we getting drunk together. I was wanting to get drunk. He was not getting drunk. I'm thinking we going to the club. We doing this. We doing that. He was on the standby. Just sending people my way. Telling me it's okay to do this. Telling me it's okay to do that. And I did everything that my partner, who I thought was my partner, told me to do. But he was never my partner. I was running with the wrong partners. That what got me in a lot of trouble back then when I was in the world. Because I was running with the wrong partner. I didn't see no light. I just saw darkness. It was always pain. It was always suffering. That's why I had to stay high all the time. Because I was running with the wrong partner. I was paranoid so much because I was running with the wrong partner. I was hanging with the wrong people because I was hanging and running with the wrong partner. That's what I was doing. And I know the way that God saved me out of my mess. When God saved me, when I was headed for self-destruction, and I believe and I declare right now today that the God we serve, the God we praise, he's come to visit you tonight. And he's going to open your eyes and let you see. But you have a choice. You have a will. He ain't begging you to follow him. He ain't begging you to trust him neither. You got a choice. You got a will to sit there and say, to sit there and say you know what? I'm running with the wrong partner, but I want to hang with the best partner, my almighty God. And that's what my choice was. That's what my decision was. I said, I'm not longer hanging with you no more. Because I was losing with you the whole time and I thought I was going somewhere. I was losing with you the whole time and I thought I was accomplishing I was accomplishing something. I was losing with you the whole time, but I was not even I didn't know who I was. So when I jumped ship, when I jumped ship to stop hanging with the losing team and I started hanging with the winning team, everything about me became better. I knew then I can't be bamboozled no more. You can't come to me as an angel of light not knowing what I know now because I'm in the word now. I'm not in the world no more. So you can't fool me no more like you did when I was when I was premature in the word of God. I was premature then, but now I'm mature. So you can't trick me no more. And I know the way how God saved me. God's going to save somebody today. And I don't know who it is today. I don't know who this word is for today. But God is telling somebody right now today, you better open your eyes, my son. You better open my eyes, my daughter. Because who you think that you're rocking with, who you're rolling with, that's not your partner. Even he's the God of the air. He's the God of music. Even some of the music that you listen to, he can get you through the brain waves to make you think that he is saying this. And the sound of that music can what? Can lead you to self-destruction. That's why you got to be careful on listening to the stuff of the music. Because the words can mess you up. The words can come in and sound good like an angel in the light and bamboozle you. I've been there before too. Are you following what I'm saying? And I don't know who this word is for today. I don't know who God's trying to talk to today. But today is the day that God's coming to visit you tonight, my sisters. He's coming to visit you tonight, my brothers. And he's going to show you a path. A path of destruction. A path of, of righteousness. You have a choice. You have a will. And I pray and I pray and believe by the word of God. The same with the choice that I made. I made a choice to follow righteousness. I made a choice to follow what was right. Because the person who I thought I was rocking with, he was not my partner. I had to toss him to the curb. I had to toss him in the dumpster. And I believe and I declare today 
that my brothers today, my sisters today, you're going to toss that joker in the dumpster because he is not your running partner. Stop running with the devil and start running with the Lord. It's the point I'm making. Stop running to the lies and run to the truth. Stop running in the world and run to the word of God, my brothers and sisters, because God is the truth and he is the light and he should be your everything. Are you following what I'm saying right now? And if this word's for you, you know God is talking to you. And you know for a fact that you've been running with the wrong, the wrong partner, stop it today. Put an end to it today. Because once you hear this word, their end will be what they actually deserve. You don't want your end to end up the way God don't want it to end up. Do something about it today. Put a stop to it today. Put an end to it today. Amen. Amen. And if this word moved through your spirit today and we touch your soul today, go on ahead, Jesus like button. Go on ahead and subscribe button to as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life, to guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.alt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you've ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving minutes LT. I love every last one of y'all. Y'all have a beautiful, blessed day. Stay blessed. Amen.